Hey, Zebra, how's it going with Windows 8? I stopped using that computer. Need to switch out the hard drive, because you cannot uninstall Windows 8. So what will you do to replace it? I don't know, yet. Was thinking about adopting Linux. Have you tried it, yet? Funny you should ask. I tried 10 distributions, this morning. Oh? Which ones did you like the best? Well at first I liked Mint and Ubuntu, both very nice. Both like Windows, used to be. But I just tried Fedora. Did you know, you can't have Linux on a stick? On a stick? Oh, you mean Linux solely on a USB pen drive, right? Right. Pretend you bought a 32 GB Kensington or Patriot drive. Then put live Linux on it. Then all your files are automatically created and stored, on that drive. Can you still access the Windows files on your computer? Oh yes. Not only that, but you can do better file management too. And, you can use your Windows pictures and other files, in Linux. I'm really surprised. But what about all that programming, and the Linux console terminal? Well, I'm too lazy to learn the programming, right now. So I just use Linux for the internet, to format or write to DVDs, stuff that XP cannot do well. So you didn't have to install Linux, and it could read your machine well? Yes, Dell Latitude 6530. I've not yet tried it, on the other machines. But if I can keep it on a stick, then I can play it on any machine. Woohoo! So I should try Fedora 17? But Fedora 18 just came out. Should I try that? Well, yeah, but first go to Fedora, and download version 17. Use their live USB creator software, so you can later use it, for other distributions. Huh? Well, live USB creator takes any CD, and converts it to a live distro, on the USB. But only Fedora 17, downloads directly to the USB, via the software. Worth trying it, first. Why Fedora? Isn't that related to Red Hat? Yes. Which means, it will be more careful, to be compatible. I didn't like it at first, but the KDE desktop allows you to change colors just like you do in XP display properties. Oh, you mean the classic style? Which in Windows 7, is personalized Windows color. Yes, exactly the same options, including a slideshow. I picked my Windows folder of landscapes, and can time them, just like in Windows 7. So too, all the colors. Can you change the icons, too? Yes, you can change almost everything. I still have to figure out, how to change the taskbar. They have a taskbar. So then you can configure it as if you were still in Windows? Seems like it, yes. I've only done a little playing. Both Mint and Ubuntu, offer many options too. Best of all, each has a different mix of apps to try. Aha, so with Linux on a stick, you can play with the distributions and never have to change your hard drive. Right. Aha, so now I can use my Windows 8 computer, since I never enabled its UEFI, so it will boot in Linux. Yay, yay, yay.